the chip and when somebody says <laughs> he went 25 percent in by say the 15th or 17th of September, you can't push deeper.
The real problem is the, the hysteria on the part of parents, you know, who I think, one, are really disappointed because the kids, they'd like them to be nearby, but then two, I think because there are a lot of uh, feelings that go below the surface that maybe a lot of people aren't really recognizing themselves. Rabbi Samuel Shiel thinks something should be done to balance the races in Malvern schools. Possible um, to get both sides together. We're currently working on this. Now you see, it seems to me that in the North, nobody's against uh, integration. Everybody's for integration. But uh, not now, not here. Maybe, you know, the next town, next century, but not here. And so it seems to me that this is really a part of the strategy. The strategy is that you just can't say we're segregationists, because only Governor Wallace can say that, you know. But uh, this can't be said anymore. Everybody's for integration. And, and I, I don't really think that they're bigots, but I think we have all have a lot of problems and prejudice that uh, we're not willing to face. One can attempt to defer the solution to this problem by simply saying uh, it's a housing situation, it's a sociological problem, it's not a school problem. In fact, not facing the issue in Malvern, it happens to be focusing on the schools. This is the place to, to start working on it. It's got to be broken somewhere. You just can't choose the place that you're going to start solving this problem. There are 1,500 row houses in Del Mar Village, a seven-year-old housing development in Falkrock, Pennsylvania. Homes in this Philadelphia suburb sell for ten to eleven thousand dollars, and the people of Falkrock call them their dream houses. Most of Falkrock's residents work in the technical labor field. They make between forty-five and eighty-five hundred dollars a year. They are proud of their community. Until recently, it was all white. Then, Horace Baker, his wife, and little girl moved in. Yet you were, and 